Hey y'all, this is uh, Todd, an itinerant, playing my last third game. Played bolt action early in the morning with Dave. We played a little uh, tutorial scenario of White Star Rising. And then I played Reset Up, the game that Dave and I played. This time only trying to use the rules as close to written as possible, not bolt reaction. And again, trying to play as close to rules as possible. Um, same exact scenario. The only difference is they put a medium order for the British and to the light um, because when I tried to pull on the army list, I couldn't even take a light mortar, so I got a medium here. I tried to start the moves very similar to the way Dave did them, so I could be like, okay, so at least start the game somewhat similar, and then I have diverged as we've gone. I'm three turns in. Going somewhat similar, I have not knocked out as many of his troops down because I'm not being able to react quite as much. One thing I did do differently than Dave, I diverged a little bit. I rushed my leader up here into this building. Well, the first thing I did is I rushed the mortar up here and then slid him over here into the wood so he could start laying down fire. He did. Um, he had to go down at one point. I um, can't remember why. And then I moved one squad up there. So Dave moved all of his squads up here. I, I moved him up two here, one here on the side so they could lay fire there and maybe do the same here. Um, these guys have three pins on them, so they're feeling the effects. You probably want to do something with them, and they've lost a couple guys. Neither side's really lost very many guys yet. Um, so I did that, but then when I put that, so I put that leader in here, and he was able to activate three units. So he was able to use that leadership modifier and, oh shoot! Okay, I just realized I can't. He's not, a, he's not a captain or a major. He can only activate one unit. Well, this is good. This is why I'm doing this. I mean, I learned a lot with Dave today, but then I'm just learning more. Playing it uh, by myself here. Yeah, so they're first lieutenant. Oh, he could do two orders. All right, well. So I messed up one. Um, anyway. All right, well, that's that. Um, boy, I, I'm pretty tired, so I'm going to bed, but um, that's why I'm talking slow, and this video is taking a little longer than I wanted. So that's that. Anyway, turn up to, uh, first three turns. I'll probably do another one after when I'm finished with the game. Hopefully, I'll finish it tomorrow. And uh, so, birthday day of gaming, out. Great time. Thanks, Dave, and my lovely bride for getting, clearing my calendar. See you later. All right, this is the second play I'm turning into to you after turn four. Turn four was quite uh, good for the British um, and bad for the Germans. Uh, the first bad thing that happened to the British was that their tank was destroyed by the Shrek in here. But then later in the turn, the British uh, close assaulted them and took that building. So in this game, I'm also saying that they that once a, a squad can be in the building, even though they may not fit all the models in there. So they're all in that building. Um, then these guys took some hits when these guys advanced into these woods and shot on them. The uh, mortar was able to put another pin on them, I believe. Um, and then these guys took that building. So the British have now taken, they're now in the space and are now winning the game. If they stay over there unpinned, they just have to remain unpinned. Um, Germans still have someone in this house. And that unit on ambush took out the leader when the leader left this building. So the British did lose their uh, first lieutenant. So that's not good, but they, don't, they won't need them. They're fine. They're fine, they're fine, they won't need them. Anyway, so that's that. But the British do need to get probably some other guys over there just to ensure that they remain um, unbroken over there. I don't really see what the Germans are going to be able to do to take these out because they're going to have to approach this house from the over there there. So, we'll see what happens. See ya. Hey all, end of game. Game turn six is finished and the game is over. And it is a uh, British victory. Uh, they got one unit in where they needed to and it was unpinned. So, uh, the Germans ended up losing their um, <clears throat> their commander as well. And... Uh, the British tried taking this building and were, there was not that many of the advantages, I think it was seven to six or eight to six and they ended up losing. 
in two rounds of close combat. Um, but that would have solidified. Um, they probably could have actually, the British probably could have actually got into these woods, but they probably would have, might have been pinned. That's probably what I should have done, is moved into these woods and beyond. But I didn't. Okay. So I played this one, rules is written, and not using the bolt reaction rules, which incorporates some Gates of Ontarius and uh, Conflict 47 reaction rules to kind of compare. You know, all based on, based on dice rolls and pent pulls of the dice for orders, but many more Germans were <laughs> killed during this, um, during this playing of it. And the British uh, did not lose. They lost about the same amount. Maybe a little less than they did in the first game. So uh, I do know that yesterday the reaction rules definitely helped um, me as the German to do some things that I couldn't have done otherwise. Um, <clears throat> like shooting when attacked and all that. So that was that. It was fun. Still fun. Um, I can't decide if... I do need to play it one more time. My son and I might play this tonight. And again, I just use rules as red and just try to get those in my get those in my brain. And that's the game. It was fun. We'll see you next time.